This is Backyard Football, an incredibly fun game that I first played when I was ages 5 to 10. When and we're in, the monsters can actually achieve that goal that I've mentioned throughout the introduction of each video. Much like the first video to this season, today we will be playing three games, the final games of the regular season. The monsters sit with a cushy 8-3 record. They better not blow this or I'm going to be mad. This team's goal is to win enough games in the regular season to finish in one of the top four spots in the conference and qualify for the postseason. Go get them, little monsters, and you better not mess this up. This is Sunny Day, and my sidekick, Chuck Downfield. Her name is Today. <laughs> Well, it's that time again. Let's look at our why are you betting lines and the spread at minus six and a half. That's at least a touchdown for the monsters to win. <clears throat> Sorry, they've been good to us all season. Beverage with the quick sips presented to you by Beverage. There are three games left. The Dolphins are our opponents for two of those three. The Bombers remain tied with us for the number one seed in the backyard conference and uh, that, that loss really stung. No! And then, win and we're in. Playoffs! The good golly gosh same game parlay brought to you by the only cereal made for children and dogs. Good golly gosh. Okay, I wanted to get more creative, but again, we haven't hit one of these since opening day. Monsters to score a touchdown on their very first drive. It's only plus 200. I mean, we're, 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 we're nice, you know? Trey Ash to get at least three receptions. I'm going to have Gretchen getting an interception. And then this is daring. We're going to shut out the Dolphins. Play football. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh that would have been nice. The only player I believe worth mentioning is Danny Marino, the computer animated version of Danny Marino, and he is a turtle. Oh! Oh, what's this? Jorge, get it! Jorge, this is for you! Jorge, this is for you! No! Jorge Garcia! Jorge Garcia with a bubble return! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! Ah! Yeah! Jorge Garcia has a touchdown! Bless me the tie that binds! And he makes the kick! I love it, love it, love it! I just realized if I'm trying to shut these guys out, I probably shouldn't be... Giving them onside kicks. There you go. There you go! Oh, come on, Grats, come on! All right! That light clears. Oh! Keep breaking the ankles. There's one for Trey. Oh, Grats! Oh no, Gretch! Oh, and there's the parlay! No! There's the parlay and there's the lead! Well, I dreamt. No! Oh! Come on, Trey, old! Or Gretch, old! Oops, I, for I forgot that that other leg is dead, too. This, this thing's really dead. Oh, dicey. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. There we go, Gretch. Why do you think I stay going for it? Oh! There we go. Cross him off. Okay. You want to blitz me? How'd you always fall? Just take it in. There we go. Do nothing stupid! Cool. You know what Ray rhymes with? Stay. I want you to stay. I want you to stay. I want you to stay. They all sound terrible. Oh! Go, Mir! Let's go! Come on, Amir! 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 Oh! Let's go! I love it! Going to throw. 
going to throw. Oh! That's not Grinch! Yo, Gretchen really steals everything intended for Trey. There's no way to let your foot off the gas pedal in backyard football. There's no way to, like, burn the clock. You just gotta keep playing. Trayage! Trayage! Let's go, Trey! Go, Trey! Go, Trey! Yeah! Reese, I call Ling! Reese, I call Ling! Oh man, I'm losing my voice today on this one, but this is with the playoffs around playoffs. the corner, man. This is some This is some, some inspired football. Oh, whoa, no way! We got Billy Jean intercepting stuff. Okay, right here is where I mess up. No, we didn't blow the lead to the Dolphins, not at all. We very much win this game. I went to change our players to play different positions on the field, you know, to have some fun with the remaining game clock. I use a nifty little program called OBS to record my footage. Tremendous software, tremendous. I use it just like many of your favorite streamers who actually have found success and don't stream from their parents' basement. Well, there's a little pause button right here. And I use it to pause the recording if I need to do some stuff off stream or, you know, take a little stream up in the toilet. And that way the time and data doesn't contribute to what's already a massive file. See, you guys don't notice it because you're off eating steak and caviar on your fancy helicopter yachts watching the final video. Doing this usually saves me some time. That is if I remember to unpause the video when I return to gameplay and I didn't do so. So, you missed out on Trey Ash playing at quarterback and me capturing a leprechaun. Sorry. Oh no. I think, I think I just recorded like that whole second half of the game on pause. Yeah, who cares? We clinch a division. We can't let up now, Sinanjo DeVecchio, the Monster Star linebacker. We've worked hard. All you need to is gold, but the hardest part is yet done. Said me. Now, the two remaining games don't really account for anything, but there's no way to simulate them. So I'll just recap the games with some nice public domain in the background. Game 13 was against the Melonheads, the team that we shut out in the first game of this season. The Melonheads still had playoff hopes as a potential wildcard team, so they had everything to play for. The Monsters forced a three and out on the first drive of the game and responded with a deep touchdown pass to Amir Khan for the early lead. The Melonheads then tried their weird Melon City miracle from the first game before both teams exchanged turnovers. The Melonheads went three and out again because, well, they suck, and we also sucked because we poorly managed the remaining time in the first half and did not score again, only leading 7-0 at halftime. And, you know, let's pause here for the halftime interviews. Now it's time for halftime interviews with Tanya, sponsored today by Things and Stuff, the item destination. Come here if you need to buy things. What's up, mooses and gooses? It's me, Tanya, back to do some halftime interviewing from the set of my talk show. And oh, finally, we have Ronnie Dobbs, who's like the star quarterback for the Monsters. Uh, hello, Ronathan. You know what? I saw a doggy today. Oh, you did? It went. Yeah, dogs can be like that, like... People, people think, like, I should be scared of dogs because, like, I'm a cat. But, like, I also have, like, hair and other... Like, I, I talk, so, like, I'm not scared. You know, Sally said I was a crybaby because I cried because she pushed me down hard. That sounds really... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not funny, but, like... <laughs> I... 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 <laughs> Okay, I, I hope you feel feel better, sweetie, and um, uh, keep keep winning games for us, especially in the playoffs. playoffs. Billy Jean Blackwood is here now, and I'm gonna interview her right now. I like everything French, French clothes, French hairstyles, French fries. I love French fries too, like French fries and um, basically any 
food that exists and is delicious is good um so like um um like fashion let's talk about clothes oh yes i am up on all the latest french fashions i'm trying to get the coach to let me design new uniforms for the team um cool uh billy jean i always thought you were fancy and it's been a, a blast being able to have you play um, football and uh, baseball for us. It's like the MVP Gretchen Hasselhoff. I can't believe we waited this long to um, have you on for halftime interviews. Um, amazing season you've had. How have you felt about playing um, sport? Hi. You know what? Um, I, I like football because it's fun to play and because I, I like to run around and because um, football, you get to run around the whole time. I guess that's why it's called football because your feet are always moving, right? Mm -hmm. Teacher says, mm -hmm. my mouth is always moving. <laughs> I mean, it would be tough to talk all the time because you have to eat sometimes and you have to sleep, but I talk in my sleep too because Dad told me. <laughs> Do you, like, take Adderall? Because, like, I know Jeremy does because sometimes he'll, like, talk like that, like, a lot. And sometimes I do too. Matter of fact, you know, you mentioned the thing about talking in your sleep i definitely do because i i swear i've like recorded episodes of my talk show in my sleep but then like i wake up and realize that i didn't and then i but then like i um forgot what i said and have to think of new stuff for the show it's a shame like they should have like dvrs for like your dreams so like um you're like the last person i'm interviewing for regular season do you just like want to tell like a story or something you know what? Um, one time I was playing football and um, I was running and um, I was telling the player that was covering me about a dream I had where I saw a pretty blue horse that could talk except the horse's voice sounded like Popeye. Give me back my spinach, Gretchen. <laughs> well, Gretchen, and I'd love to have you as like a guest on my real show. Um, but anyway, thank you everyone for for joining us in this regular season for halftime interviews. Let's send it back to Jeremy and go go monsters. <sighs> Okay, back to this game. So we got serious and called the play that never fails, and the MVP of all time, Gretchen Hasselhoff, took it to the house. Angela got an interception, that never happens. And I decided to have some fun and bring in Gretchen at quarterback to play some Wildcat. Look at this first play. Imagine if that were anyone besides a 75-year-old man running, that's definitely a touchdown. Gretch at Wildcat is honestly not a bad idea to keep in our back pocket. Look at her go. She even got a touchdown to Billy Jean Blackwood, who I think in normal football is short of the line, but because her tall head crossed the line, it counted. The Melonheads were able to score on this absolute blown call. That girl is out of bounds the entire way. But nonetheless, we won the game. Now, game 14, the final game of the regular season, was a little bit of a different story. Again, it was against the Dolphins. What weird scheduling. This game did not need to exist, but it had to be played. There was no way to simulate it. The Dolphins, with their three wins, were playing for pride, and we were playing for the lols. We thought it'd be fun to have our players switch up their positions, and the least talked about player ever, Angela, got to shine at quarterback. At first, it wasn't all that bad, you know? I am a 32-year-old man playing a game made for children after all. But then, the turnover started. And then, the Dolphins started scoring. And then, they were feeling themselves and recovered onside kicks. We were allergic to covering receivers and making tackles. The sweet, sweet tea of success we had been drinking most of the season was transitioning to the foul, sour, fecal taste of butt juice. Why I'm not showing you this whole game? Well, there were many other interesting things you could have watched instead of this game. I'll list some. This farming guy plucking green stuff. Paint drying. Your friend's grandparents getting romantic. Tanya's talk show. Other stuff I made. Oh, and your laundry. We never scored. We got our tushy smacked, and the Dolphins, with their fourth win of the season, left the game thinking they were such hot excrement. But we're the ones who will be playing for a championship.
Hey you, hey you, how you doing? You could have a steam train If you just lay down your tracks You could The playoffs are coming to nose Don't talk about playoffs! Join Job Costas and Omar Sandwiches who have the call of the BFL postseason. Will the Monsters defy the odds and go all the way? Or will some other team win and cause lasting trauma for all the players? Oh no! Subscribe and ring the bell to find out so you don't miss any of it. Ah. Football. I get it right. I kick the habit, kick the habit. Kick the habit. Leave a comment below if you'd actually watch any of these videos. This is the new stuff. This is the new stuff. I go dancing in. We go dancing in. Oh, show for me. Show for me. I will show for you. Show for you. Please show for me. I will show for you Yeah, 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 I do mean you show